have you ever wondered why cameras make us look heavier? No, it's not because you eat like crazy. Why do shots of the same size look like this? Or like this? Or even like this? You'll find the answer at the end of this episode. Hello there, Dara here. Welcome back to the Mavave Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. I'm back! Did you miss me? Can you take a look at my gorgeous tan and guess where I spent my vacation? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. The topic of the week today is vocal length. I'm going to explain what it is, how to use it, and give you a few life hacks on filming. Let me tell you more. Stay tuned. If you have no idea what vocal length means, you probably think about this camera focus or magic tricks. Hocus focus. Well, that was a stupid joke. It's hard to explain the concept of focal length without using specialist terms or diving into the world of physics, or more precisely, optics. But I'll try. If you have no plans to show off a deep understanding of focal length, it's enough to know what these numbers mean. You can see them on any camera lens. The focal length of your camera lens dictates the scale of your images or videos. The larger the number, the greater the zooming in effect. There are no good or bad focal lengths, it's just that some are more suitable for a particular task than others. Ok, let's suppose you're shooting portraits. Choose a standard lens with a focal length between 35 and 70 mm. It can also be a zoom lens, which allows you to do things like this. Or a lens with a fixed focal length, which cannot be used for zooming, so you'll have to come closer to the the object of shooting yourself. Why is the 35 to 70 mm range perfect for portraits? The reason is that this focal length provides an image that is really close to how we see it in real life. If you are shooting architecture, an ultra-wide angle lens with a range of 12 mm to 24 mm is exactly what you need. But only for the photo. And here is an example of the angle that is normally used for action cameras like the GoPro. The focal length in this case may be anywhere between 16mm and 49mm, depending on the model or filming requirements. I forgot to tell you about wide-angle lenses between 24 and 35mm. If you didn't know, these are really useful for shooting reportage. It's like the golden mean. Everything fits into the frame, but it doesn't look like a fish eye. People's faces aren't noticeably distorted. And of course, there is the TV camera zoom lens. Their focal length can be anywhere from 70 mm to, can you imagine, 800 mm. People use this type of lens when it's not possible to get close to the subject. For example, it's a good option for nature photography, mountain landscapes, or soccer matches. A focal length greater than 300 mm is like having a telescope on your camera. Try to use it for special circumstances, like shooting celestial bodies or passengers looking through an airplane window. But a 70 to 105 mm TV camera zoom lens can be handy for shooting portraits too. An 85 mm focal length provides a super realistic picture without distortions, but separates the background from the subject a little. And now you can imagine shooting mountain ranges, stars, video portraits. But focal length defines not only the size, but also the perspective on your subject. Let's consider perspective. Simply put, it's the visual depth in a picture. Compare these two shots. Here we can see a linear perspective. All the lines are straight and directed right into the picture's depth. While in this shot, we can see no depth. Don't you have the impression of a flat picture? Of course you do. That's how perspective works. Different focal lengths affect the perspective of a shot. The shorter the length, the deeper the perspective, or vice versa. Let us take one more look at the footage you saw at the beginning of this episode. In this shot, I'm waving to you through a 24mm lens. Seems like you're looking at me through a peephole. Knock knock. And here is the 135mm lens view. Whoa, my face seems so wide! That's how cameras make us look larger. And finally, the 70mm focal length. It seems pretty realistic. We filmed the footage in the same conditions and purpose, so the difference is much more apparent. Now you know why Hollywood actors are so slim in real life. Movies are often filmed with a camera lens of 70mm focal length or longer, to make the picture look more impressive. Alas, this approach also adds a couple of kilos. To keep the size of the picture pull, our cameraman had to step forward to shoot with a 24 focal length lens, and way back to shoot with a 135mm lens. Ok, let me explain one last term to help you understand how two different camera operators can get pictures at two different scales using the same lens. It's all about the camera. 
What a surprise! I'm sure you've noticed there are full-frame cameras and cameras with some crop factor. Cameras with a crop factor can crop a shot. Usually it's equivalent to 1.6. If you're shooting with a 35mm camera lens and a cropping camera, you'll get a result equivalent to using a 50mm camera lens. The angle of view in this case gets narrower, as it does here. If you want to learn more about full-frame cameras and the crop factor, leave us the comments below. If we get at least 12 requests, we'll create a new video on this topic. That's all for now. Subscribe to the Mavave vlog, give us your thumbs up, and see you next week. Bye!